Welcome back. All right, so while there's some hockey being played right now, preseason and uh, exhibition game for Nashville overseas, and I hope fans that are watching that live are really enjoying themselves as Nashville finds themselves currently down 1-0, uh, 4-13 left in the first. Proving I'm recording this now. Uh, other proof would be that I've got the waiver claims from today on the board too. Uh, Helberg has been claimed by the Ottawa Senators, a goaltender. Uh, this is rough news for Ottawa, and this is why when people complain that I don't wear their team's jersey for news videos, you don't want me wearing your team's jersey for news videos uh, because it means that you're in the news and teams are in the news for various things, and it's not usually positive. And the negative for Ottawa right now is that Cam Talbot's out five to seven weeks with an upper body injury, so that's why they claim a goaltender on the waiver wire. A 31-year-old goaltender who has five NHL games played, which means that we're, we're going to be seeing... A lot of Forsberg. So uh, Forsberg is going to be the starter for the for the beginning of the season and for probably about the first month, maybe month and a half. We'll see how long Talbot ends up being out. But for Ottawa, this is uh, this is going to be a tough time. Uh, this is really this is a year where there's a lot of pressure on DJ Smith and the boys on the team, and so they've got to go out there and they got to perform, and they they're going to have to do so without Cam Talbot to at least start the season. Uh, Montreal, injury news for them, both Monaghan and Suzuki are cleared, so they will be in the lineup for the start of the season. Monaghan should be very motivated uh, after Calgary dumped off his contract. He should be motivated in the final year of his contract to come out and prove he can still play uh, at, a, at a you know top level in the NHL and play top six minutes. And for Montreal, it's in their best interest as a team to maximize uh, the numbers for Monaghan and probably flip him at the deadline, you'd have to think, right? Probably retain some salary, flip them at the deadline, get back draft picks, all this fun stuff. We know this year's supposed to go for Montreal. Uh, also on the claiming side of things, Zahorna, claimed by Calgary. Now, I'm kind of surprised Zahorna got all the way to Calgary. So the way the waiver wire works is that the team that finished last in the league last year has the first claim. So if you put somebody on waivers, Montreal would have the first claim. So to, for him to get to all the way to Calgary means that a lot of teams passed on Zahorna. I think Calgary made a good move here. Zahorna had good numbers in the AHL. His numbers in the NHL when he's been called up have been decent. You're just putting him in a fourth line role anyways. So I think it's a good move by Calgary. Uh, Zahorna is 26 years of age. He's six foot six, And honestly, you know, not everybody's going to be as fleet of foot as everybody else. And I think Zahorna can fit in well if they can find the right line mates for him in Calgary. So uh, I think that's a solid pickup. We'll see how that works out for them. Uh, James Neal has been released from his tryout. Uh, that was a question that was asked to me in a live stream was whether or not I thought Neal was going to make it with Nashville, and I, I didn't think that was going to happen, and they released him. So James Neal's career, in all likelihood, probably done at the NHL level. I don't see him getting another tryout. Uh, same with Thomas Hickey with the New Jersey Devils. They released him from his tryout as well. So, and it, it's always sad when, when that happens with players, but it, it does happen a lot where players trying to stick around, and, and it just doesn't work. Um, so Nashville just scored. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so uh, Hickey released from his tryout. I like Thomas Hickey, and yeah, those are two players that absolutely would get career videos if slash when they retire, which in the case of uh, James Neal, I, I would think retirement's probably coming up pretty quickly here. So today's waiver wire. Uh, Barry Boulay is on waivers for Tampa. I, I like the player, but Tampa Bay waves him. I expect him to clear this time. Uh, Jamel Smith also waived. Good, fast player, but understand why he gets uh, uh, sent down to the AHL as well. So Tampa Bay with a couple of players there. Ulevi's been waived. Anaheim waived three guys today. Ulevi stands out, though, because this is that number one draft pick for the Canucks that, of course, uh, turned out to bust at the NHL level. And we can all decide on whether or not it was injuries that sidelined him or, or what happened that threw off Ulevi. But either way, uh, waived by the Ducks. I'd be very surprised if he gets picked up. Uh, the Jets waive Kevin Stenland. Stenland should clear. I'm pretty sure he cleared waivers last year for Columbus. Uh, he is a number 13 forward, fourth line guy as a fill-in. Likely to be an early call-up this season when injuries take place for Winnipeg. But yeah, so Stenland's waived. And Minnesota, a couple of guys who were prominent in last night's game for the Wild. Uh, Hicketts and Cramarosa. Uh, Hicketts was playing like a guy who was trying to make the team last night. A lot of hits, a lot of plays. And then Cramarosa played relatively well too. Uh, that being said, they should both clear. They should both clear. 
But if either if one or the other was going to get picked, I'll say Hicketts because he's a defenseman. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.